What's up, Divine Feminine? Divine Masculine? My beautiful nieces and nephews. What it do, what it do, what it do. Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic ass clowns. Now, collective, please keep in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let this shit go. But what I see out here, it's a King of Cups masculine energy who's unhappy. He's sad right about now. See, the King of Cups is somebody who's very loving, caring, and nurturing, giving, supportive. You know, he's emotionally balanced. Um, he has compassion for others. This masculine is unhappy about a pregnancy. Um, we have the Empress out here, and I feel like he's gotten his his baby mama pregnant again. This is uh, possibly a karmic baby mama. Um, she could be a Leo, she could be a Pisces, she could be a Libra, she could be a Taurus. But the universe do not like this baby mama. The universe do not like the fact that this masculine has gotten this baby mama pregnant again. Okay? Because, see, now she's a third party. And the third party is over. Now, for some of you... It's a third party. You could be the third party or this baby mama. It depends on how your situation is. Because some of you, you could have met this masculine while him and this baby mama had broken up. And then he went back to her. Or it could be he met you during the time of the breakup. And then he broke up and he went back. And then he came back to you. Okay, take it where it resonates. But... You know, the, the, the universe do not like whoever this baby mama is. And it's it's some sort of release. I don't know. Um, this masculine, he may have broken up with you because of this pregnancy out here. It is definitely a pregnancy. And I put it back in the deck. It may be a miscarriage. Because if this is a karmic feminine... And this masculine has one child with her already and the universe is disappointed. They're not going to allow this person to get pregnant again. Because if she's a karmic energy and this is a divine masculine, they don't want this to happen. People are awakening to this now. Sometimes when, when women, you have miscarriages, it's for a reason. Okay. Think back. You could have had a miscarriage by a masculine and that masculine could have been cheating on you. That masculine could have been doing a lot of things behind the scenes that you didn't know about and you later found out. And you're saying you, you thank God that you didn't have a baby with this person. Okay. But whoever this karmic energy is, she could be a Leo, Libra, a Pisces, Taurus. But this masculine, he could have ended it with you because of this pregnancy. Or he could have ended it with her. But I feel like He's 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 ended the relationship with the divine feminine to go back to his karmic baby mama because she's pregnant again. And see, this this could be that baby mama that don't want to release this masculine. She'll keep having babies just to have it. Just you know, women be out here, they be having kids just to try to prove to another woman that this man and her is having sex. And all they doing is filling their house up with babies. And they doing all of this to prove a point. And they ain't taking care of them babies. Them, them, them babies don't be having sheets on their bed or, you know, toys to play with. They, they, they having piss stains because the mama ain't changing the diapers and shit. Okay. The universe do not like whoever this energy is. Okay. But, you know, if you was the third party, if he had the child with her first. And you as the third party, he ended it with you. Because he went into a two of cups with this baby mama. Yeah. Because she pregnant. That's the only reason. Mm -hmm. What I feel. Some of you, he freed himself. He may have been feeling helpless and hopeless when it comes to this person. And I, like I said, the other, the other deck that I was pulling from, 
it showed a miscarriage, but I didn't bring it out. Okay. I didn't I didn't pull it out. I put it back in there. Because it showed the pregnancy and then it showed a miscarriage. So this this may it, it may be a miscarriage that frees this master. Okay. I pick the bottom of the deck up. It's the devil. Yeah. And she don't have no regrets for doing what she's doing. Yeah. This is a divine masculine that she's doing this to. Confirmation. She don't want to. She don't want this to end. Basically. Yeah. It's like no matter. This masculine is unhappy. Because it's like he's went back to her because of this pregnancy. Um, when it comes to sex, nothing makes her happy. He can't please her. He feel like he's missed the opportunity with the divine feminine and whoever this, this baby mama is, she, she, she's not emotional. She's not a fucking queen of cups. This is karma for him for going back to her. Now his judgment is clouded because this is a routine that this baby mama keeps doing. He allows it. Yeah. He allows her to break the rules. Whoever she is, she she's she's cutthroat. She's judgmental when this mask when it comes to this masculine, because she don't want him to start a new beginning with anybody. She don't want him to work on himself. His heart is broken. Okay, she's determined to keep his heart broken. It's the divine feminine. Yeah, he's thinking about divine feminine, and his heart is broken because now this karmic energy has set some delays in his life, and he's frustrated about this shit. Yeah. He could be partying a lot because he's stressed out. He's having anxiety attacks. He ain't having sex with her no more or she's too big to have sex. He's overcommitted to this karmic energy and he wants to be a free spirit. Yeah, she's the queen of cups in reverse. She don't want it to end with the death in reverse. He's burdened and stressed. His patience is running out. He ended the conflict. Mm -hmm. Whoever this energy is, she was draining this masculine strength. Make him weak. Mm -hmm. she was always negotiating that they could have the perfect harmonized relationship but she was just being deceptive lying to this man you know she may be getting confirmation she may be happy she's doing some sort of manipulation or magic she's blocking this masculine's com communication by sending confusion spells to him she getting karma for this shit okay yeah Got this masculine waiting and stuck. Yeah. Burnt out. He can't move forward. But he's still driven to a succeed. Because he has a thirst for knowledge. But for some reason he can't stand up to this karmic. Because she's the type that she pregnant. And if he yell or yell at her. Oh you're going to make me lose the baby. Just little bullshit. Yeah and this is somebody. You know that he's uh, had a long term investment in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fear of the unknown. This masculine got money. Every time he try to walk away from her, she bring up some shit, you know, from the past. And this is revenge. She's holding a, a revengeful tactic towards this masculine, even though she don't want to be with him. Yeah, he's having regrets about this. Because he got a lot of opportunities, um, choices out there, and he got the mental clarity. Yeah. She knows that this masculine is here. I mean, this he knows that this karmic is here to try to block his manifestations, to try to block his financial, you know, um, opportunities because he's always having to give to her. And every time he decides to walk away, she'll try one more time. And that's how her ass got pregnant. Yeah. She's showing too. Mm-hmm. And this masculine is stuck. He losing his money. He's paranoid and defensive. Yep. Virgo energy. He could be ghosting her. We have the three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. It's that seven of pentacles. Yeah. So. I'm not going to let you let this be a long reading. And I'm going to end it right there. Just a little short message for you. See you in the next reading.
Peace out.